Hey viewers, welcome to Real Astrology and uh, um, we are here again with uh, Babajit from Exotic Astrology and this is the concluding part of the Manglik Dosh and he has explained uh, the Manglik Dosh till now so well, brilliantly and so uh, it's so practical, uh, practical approach to it, you know, how to read a chart, you know, so that's really commendable Babajit, I must say. You really Thank explained you. well. And uh, over to you. And yes, before we move on, I would just like to say that he does readings also. You can go through his website. He has 15,000 over subscribers. He has a very big channel. And uh, though I feel <laughs> very little, you know, by saying all this, because, you know, maybe my subscribers are also part of his channel already. But <laughs> it, is, it, is, uh, it is a pleasure speaking high about you because you deserve it. So definitely do subscribe if my viewers have not. I would recommend his channel and definitely go for consultation. He is an excellent astrologer, a spiritually inclined person as well. I am myself very uh, happy to be associated with him. So this was a long one though, but it deserved to be there, you know. So thank you so much, Babaji. <laughs> Over to you. Over to you. Yeah, so if somebody has not watched the part one, then maybe you can pin the that in the description so that they can first watch it and uh, yeah. then you watch this. Okay, yeah. here I'll be sharing examples. Otherwise, you may be thinking that from where am I speaking all this? Okay, <laughs> so I will start sharing the screen. Ah, is it visible? I think your voice, yes. your voice has gone. Yes, now. Yes. Okay, so as uh, I'll just give a quick short review in one minute. So I was saying that water signs are very prominent. If uh, if you have prominent planets in water signs, then you have a tendency to incorporate people more. To you are more encompassing than if Jupiter is in a well position. That's also important. If the ninth lord is well placed, then that is also a very good placement. And then. I will show you some charts where there are problems, even though they are manglik and they are non-manglik also. And I will tell you what kind of problems they are facing. Okay. So, can you see this chart? Yes, I can. Yes, I can see. Yeah, yeah. So, this is the chart. I have given the names. Alpha 1, Alpha 6. <laughs> I said brilliant already. So, says it all. Yeah. So now you see in this chart, what is happening here is, you see that Mars is in the Lagna and just for a reminder, Mars in the 1st, 2nd, 4th, 7th, 8th and 12th houses. These are known as Manglik positions. Okay. So now this person, uh, you see Mars is right there in the Lagna and from there it is aspecting the 4th house, which is the house of home and settlement and property and your well-being. And the dreaded aspect is on the seventh house of marriage. <laughs> okay. So now you will say, oh, maybe the this person is having a terrible marriage or something like that. Well, let's study the marriage aspect one by one. Okay. So you see that the seventh lord, seventh lord has gone into debility. Okay. So now you will say that, oh, maybe so the marriage is not working. No, not necessarily always. When the seventh lord is in debility, Debility, especially, I, I mean to say, not dusthanas. Okay, so I have seen that these people they can end up marrying partners who are of a lower status than theirs. All right. So, for example, this this is the chart of a man, and he has had a love marriage because seventh lord is in the fifth. That's the famous combination: <laughs> fifth lord in seventh, seventh lord in fifth. So, because of that, what has happened is. Uh, the he is from a very rich and affluent family, very powerful family. But the girl is like uh, she her father was a normal uh, civil servant in the office, not a very high rank official. And uh, people also keep telling him that you are so handsome and she is not very beautiful like you. <laughs> okay, and he is also having a master's degree from a big college. In India, and this girl is only having a bachelor's degree. So people keep telling him always that, why did you choose this girl? Why, 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 why? <laughs> you could have had so many other better options, you see. So that is being done by the debility of the seventh lord. But when I see this chart, I said that very good, you have done this. Because that's your that's the way your karma is arranged, that there has to be some kind of a compromise 
when you go for marriage now if you do not do that compromise you end up marrying a girl who is equally beautiful like you who is equally intelligent who is equally uh, affluent like your family then this debility can work in other ways that your marriage may fall apart all right so these things can happen so now this is working here you see the seventh lord's debility is giving results in some area or the other but at the same time as i said check the water signs see he has three prominent planets in water signs so he has as i said if moon is placed in water signs then i said if the lord of the lagna again so there is a parivartan between the lagna lord and the third lord third lord is in lagna lagna lord is in third so moon is in water sign and the lagnesh mercury is also in water sign so that also that reduces the power of this dosha okay this manglik dosha which is working and then you also see that venus is in around 14 degrees of libra although it is afflicted it is in moon trigon so inherently this person is very good in dealing with uh, women or matters related to marriage or you no know, bond or any kind of partnership now you will say oh but venus is afflicted yes it is with ketu and that was a inter caste marriage all right they were from different communities and you see uh, sun is also placed there so something to do with 12th house is seen here surya is the 12th lord yes when the person went to a distant place they met each other and then they got married okay and this problem this affliction of venus is coming in the second house second house second house is what it is your family before marriage your relatives and all these people and you see venus is also the ninth lord so something to do with the father and these traditional things are coming you see so there is some blow which he has got from the family so the family is like oh you married her so <laughs> they have become quite distant from him you see as it happens in some here yeah, parts of india in some cases so he is to some extent suffering because of that i will not deny that fact okay but because of these water signs and and now you see mars is in lagna so this person is inherently very hot headed there's no doubt you sit 10 minutes and you do something and he will rip you apart <laughs> inherently the person is very hot headed there is no doubt about it but still eventually because moon is in a water sign and the lagna lord is also in a water sign the person understands that okay it was a mistake forget it <laughs> but if and jupiter although it is in debility but it is in trines which is a good placement which is a very good placement in fact so it is aspecting the lagna, lagna yes it is aspecting the lag, first house from the fifth house with its ninth aspect and uh, these are the placements which uh, try to compensate the effect of mangal dosh okay so this is how we see that although the mangal dosh is there but it is not working in a way that it breaks the marriage or something like that okay so that is very important to see here and i would have been very happy if jupiter would have been a bit uh, better placed <laughs> sign wise <laughs> but uh, anyways no problem the marriage is uh, going on and uh, he is fine now marriage wise there is no problem i guess so this is one chart next we will see another chart all right so this is alpha 2 <laughs> so now you see here again you see mars is placed in the lagna again this is a very hardcore manglik chart okay and uh, then you see there is another malefic like saturn placed in the 7th house okay now this can create a lot of challenges now what happened was this person this person has also had, this is the chart of a female okay so now uh, this person had to undergo lots of trials and tribulations in getting married because the mars saturn axis is falling there that's a very difficult placement 1 7 or 7 1 so if this this mars saturn is falling in 1 7 axis initially to get married is a very big struggle and there was a big struggle this person was looking proposals from so long and long and long and it's not happening okay and they were looking in the same caste creed community but it was not happening due to some reason but then what happened this person uh, went somewhere else not very far i would say it's like near to another state in india 
a nearby state of course one state in the border and then when uh, that person went then they met somebody they fell in love and then they got married so that has happened so now you can say that now you see here moon and venus are linked in the chart so this is another observation which i have had if moon and venus are conjunct or if they are reasonably well placed and aspecting each other now here you see moon is in digbala here it is in leo which is a very good sign because it's a friend sign and venus is also in aquarius which is also a friend sign so there are inherently no problems and venus is unafflicted do you see this saturn is not afflicting mars is not afflicting ketu is ketu is also not afflicting if you take the aspects and there are no malefic aspects venus is quite well placed here and moon is in a bit precarious state here it has been aspected by mars and saturn <laughs> so this person had been has been doing certain remedies for moon and for the fourth house which i suggested but another observation here i would have seen that i have seen in my experience is that if moon and venus are linked then also the person is more because then that gives the uh, person a bit of a feminine nature feminine in the sense not feminine exactly but the person is like too much wanting relationships <laughs> moon and venus link all right and you will also see this if venus is in cancer or if moon is in venusian signs even then this holds true i have seen sometimes the person is always wanting to stay with somebody so in that case even if mars is there in the first second fourth seventh eighth or twelfth houses then the person even though there is fights or there is quarrels but the person will eventually be like oh better i stay with that person rather than letting that person go <laughs> okay and then if you see here as i said jupiter is also aspecting the seventh house and it is also in own sign and it is with planets like sun and mercury now the problem is rahu is also there here okay so because of rahu's placement especially uh, in case of females you can see this if rahu if rahu or ketu if either of them is linked with jupiter then they are okay with marrying a person who is outside of their family traditions it is they feel that it's not good but it's still okay <laughs> they can feel it like this okay and they have had an intercaste marriage that is true but again as i said this mars saturn one seven axis created so much difficult the frustration was so high that she decided do hell with all this marriage i am not getting married <laughs> it is so difficult to get married i am not getting married forget marriage and then what happened this uh, 12th lord is in lagna and 12th lord mars is also the 7th lord so they went to a different state and then they found somebody and then they got married so the, these kind of things uh, have also happened so that is what i am saying that and you can see there are so many planets in pisces my god there are four planets the other chart i was showing you they had only three planets that person had three planets in scorpio but this person this lady has four planets in pisces which is which is like that's too much of a water there <laughs> so and here you see the lagna lord which is venus is placed in the 10th house so lagna lord if it is placed in the 10th house may not be very great for marriage the person may be focused on working too much but at the same time if the lagnish is well placed in the 10th house the person can be very good with their commitments and their word especially especially the word it's like saying in hindi they say na zuban de diya so they can be very good with that if the lagnish is in 10th or in the 11th provided it is well placed i have seen but at the same time this person is a very big workaholic also <laughs> lagnesh in 10 that's a typical symptom of a workaholic we all know that so here you see the sixth lord is also in 10th <laughs> so that gives them more workaholic nature you see so when this lady got frustrated that i am not able to get married she said i will remain a bachelor i'll remain like a brahmacharin and i will stay lifelong unmarried <laughs> but then more than she got married luckily okay so the, this is how you see the chart is going and now i will show you another chart ah now 
this chart there are certain issues in the chart this is a chart where manglik dosha is acting it is working also <laughs> because i have to show you charts also where it's working right because otherwise you will tell me that oh you were just cancelling the dosha by other examples <laughs> so i also taken charts where this yoga is acting okay so now here you see yoga is acting in a way that uh, here you see here mars is placed in the lagna which is aspecting the seventh house and then there is another planet like surya sun is also the karga for ego and you know, that authority that controllership that that which makes you believe you are the king <laughs> so sun in the first house i have seen equally problematic like mars in the first house i mean if you talk in isolation apart from the chart because these people are inherently totally convinced that nobody can be better than them <laughs> so any time their spouse says something or exposes any of their weaknesses then they go haywire totally they are like how can you do this <laughs> they are hell bent on proving everybody that no i am the best because sun is the king right so wherever sun is sitting you feel you are the king when it's in lagna you feel i am the king <laughs> so that is to some extent problematic and we see that the lord of the lagna venus has gone to the 12th house now this is not a good placement in general apart from the manglik factors i'm saying all right and it is also in debility this is like <laughs> that's too much <laughs> and uh, it is also the natural significator of marriage as we know so that is further adding to this manglik problem and if you see here jupiter is in the lagna but that's the precarious situation you know for libra lagna or taurus lagna jupiter is a very difficult planet it's a functional malefic so the sixth lord is sitting in the lagna which shows that fights are like a inherent part of the person's life or marital problems and mercury is the ninth lord which is situated in the lagna which is a very good placement so in my experience when i talked with this person and this is a chart of a female in my experience when i talk to this girl she is inherently not wanting to break marriage or relationships <laughs> she is inherently she is not like that but somehow it still doesn't sustain <laughs> so it's like saying that you don't want to be you don't want it to be like that but still you behave the way because here you see uh there are not much planets in uh, water signs you see pisces is empty scorpio only has rahu and cancer is also empty here and if you see and by the way uh, moon is in the fifth house so this person is a very good doctor by profession and is the 10th lord also so that is to some extent helping now moon in the fifth house if there's a benefit in the fifth house you can attract too many partners from the opposite sex i mean people may get attracted to you very much so that always happens and she has benefits like mercury jupiter in lagna which gives her a very good appearance also and moon is in the fifth house so she has many people who are interested to date her meet her but the moment she gets into relationship all the problem starts <laughs> and she says all the problems are because of my anger issues so because this sun mars is there and now there are no other uh, areas you see and here saturn is also afflicting this mars so saturn mars wherever you will see you will see the tus is going on there <laughs> and then there is this affliction of sun also whenever sun is conjunct with any planet it is to to some extent considered to be an affliction so what i would say to this girl and i have also i have already told her is that you because your ninth lord is in the lagna you can do remedies and spiritual practices lots of things you can do like uh, by that you can uh, improve this power of mar i mean you can improve uh, this problems which are there but again to some extent you may not be able to negate the karma altogether so we have to see if that is possible at all and now as i said the placement of the lagna lord now lagna lord is in debility here it's in a dusthana so because of this what happens is as we saw in the earlier chart that lagnesh was in the 10th house but on the contrary here the lagnesh is in 12th house so 
she always tells me that whenever i see that the relationship is not working i am like get lost <laughs> she has a tendency to give up on everything after some struggle not relationships anything in life oh i am not able to do this forget it we'll do something else changing constantly you see so that that to some extent is there with this person so that tendency comes in relationships also and to add to that we also have mars in the first house that is also adding to the problem so this can this has caused her many troubles she has been into i think four relationships and none of them has worked and some other problems are also there in the chart which i will not <laughs> share here <laughs> but uh, th this is how you see one chart is manglik because of this placement of lagnesh now suppose venus was also in the lagna or it was well placed somewhere then this person will be like okay even if i'm fighting i will still maintain the relationship but now if the lagnesh has only gone to somewhere else and the person is like oh it's anyways not going to oh, forget it so she enters a new relationship then the same thing happens there's some quiet quarrel there's some fight again the same problem is there so this problem is more because of this lagnesh being there and you try to suggest something to, to the girl she's like no i still think i am right <laughs> because of this sun mars in the lagna they have this feeling and jupiter mercury is also in the lagna and although these are great placements but sometimes i have seen in my experience it is very difficult to consult these people jupiter mercury in lagna sometimes because they have so much knowledge sometimes about astrology which is not necessarily true or it can be that half a hand that kind of philosophy but they they are convinced that whatever they know is right so sometimes this can be a bit bit difficult placement because even if i try to help her i say okay see this planet is this way in your chart you behave like this sometimes but she is like oh no i don't think i behave like this you know i i think i behave like this <laughs> so it can get very it can become very difficult to help these people sometimes because these two planets are in digbala here which shows education and knowledge and they may think that i know the best i know all in all here so that can sometimes add to the problem so we will now go to another chart three more charts are there yes this was the chart i was planning to show <laughs> now this is a chart where mars is in the 7th house but here there is no problem of manglik dosh the problem is something else <laughs> the problem is too many affairs after being in a relationship that is the problem in this chart so here you see the lord of lagna itself has gone to the seventh house <laughs> and mars itself uh, is sitting there it is the lagna lord and then you see there are these three planets in the 10th house so the person and the 10th lord is in the 10th so the person is always the person always dreams and fantasizes about getting a uh, recognition in society so you call up the community where he is staying and say that this person has done a blunder and he becomes very happy <laughs> because he says oh at least everybody has come to know about me right that i have done something wrong so this person is very 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 hungry for name fame post position power status he's it's like good or bad he doesn't mind he doesn't mind you say he's he's a bad person he's still happy you say he's a good person even then he's happy he says you talk about me by hook or by crook it doesn't matter it is good or bad but you see this uh, venus which is placed here it is again in debility venus can at times and this is the chart of a man as i said venus in a man's chart can show what kind of woman you end up meeting always <laughs> and because it is in debility all the girlfriends which he has had he has had i think uh, three or four girlfriends in the past all of the girls <laughs> see venus in virgo is a very famous uh, there's a saying now in english this is a damsel in distress <laughs> which means that there's a lady who is in a relationship with somebody but the the boyfriend or the husband is not 
uh, valuing her or she feels that he doesn't love me or that that kind of she's in distress basically <laughs> or the person is wanting to break the relationship or divorce or anything like that and you attract those kinds of girls so and and you see moon is also there moon venus yoga is very famous and that too this is in the 11th house of network circles so it always happens every 2 3 months when i talk to this person i will hear oh you know that girl she is already in a relationship but i think she is not very happy <laughs> and he is like talking to them all the time and then after some time these girls say that oh i don't want to stay with my boyfriend i want to stay with you you are so nice you know so because of this what happens is his current relationship the the current girlfriend which he has she has lot of suffering <laughs> she is like oh my god what what to do and she keeps telling him why do you entertain these these girls <laughs> let them go to hell whatever is happening you don't worry about them but why are you always worrying you are always consoling them giving them sweet words and he's like my god how can i not do it you know <laughs> because the moon venus that, that causes too much uh, affection that's a combination of love and sweetness and romance so you see so this uh, so now this is a chart where this person has never been into problem <laughs> but whoever this person gets into a relationship their life becomes hell because of interference from ladies outside so you will never find this person coming to you and saying hey you know uh, i think this relationship is not working he will always be like oh i am very happy with the girl but you will find that his partners will go go to astrologers and end up taking consultations oh i don't think this person will stay with me or not i don't know he is having some affair or anything like this you see so here although the person is manglik the hard manglik mars in the 7th house but the problems are coming due to some other reasons because of combinations like moon and venus now the problem is venus is in debility here and now 11th house they say is a great house because it fulfills all your desires so this is how venus is fulfilling his desires <laughs> so now you will say that oh mars is in the 7th it will give you fights but he he has fights with this girlfriend but not because of personal reasons it is all because of interference from other girls and the the girlfriend ends up feeling very insecure because of that so now you will say oh mars is in 7 so it will create fights but you have to know you see where the problem is coming and the lagnesh is in 7 so the person is always seeking the opposite sex that adds to this you know so there was one uh, rule which one of the astrologers in mumbai had once told me that if moon and venus are in trines and if somehow rahu is also associated that can give too much of a flirty behavior <laughs> but here of course rahu is not uh, aspecting it is not in trines but i think moon venus are enough to do the job because it's in a kama trikon you see 3 7 11 11 are desire houses so this is one chart and two more charts are remaining ah <laughs> this is example of a chart of a girl this is a chart of a girl who gets into relationship problems but that is because of her ego problems 